afternoon, everybody. Beachside, literally sitting in the water. Family's right there behind me, and that right there. Kids are building sand castles down the way. Fish are jumping in front of me. Crabs are crawling around me. Beach right here, it's just gorgeous. White Cat Beach, love White Cat Beach. It's a beautiful little run of beach down outside of Corpus Christi. And we're on our last day here in Southern Texas down, you know, I guess we're like, yeah, this is pretty South, South Texas. But before we head out to go back up to Big D, I thought I would jump on while sitting here in the water and do a quick conscious coffee without coffee though. Because, well, I don't have a coffee. Earlier today, I realized, it's not that I just realized this, but early today I most certainly realized that you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. So why give a fuck? You know, I've pretty much run the last 10, 15 years of my life with that concept anyway. But I woke up this morning to some emails, some comments, some messages, and I just had to laugh. I had to chuckle. Yesterday I posted on my personal profile, I posted a live stream recording from the senator of Minnesota, I believe. And he was voted, you know, number one family doctor of Minnesota. He's a senator. He's been in practice for 40 years. He's worked with many hospitals, all this kind of stuff. And he was putting out some stuff about situations that the world is going through, and especially the United States right now around COVID. And just the false testing that is going on, the false reporting that is going on, and the truth behind COVID. And I shared it. So, as everybody knows, I am not the mask wearer. I am not the one who is running around fearful for my life, my children's life, my loved one's life, even my mother who is in a convalescent home. You know, I'm not fearful for anybody's life. And a lot of people have been calling me stupid for that. A lot of people have said, well, I'm deleting you. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. You know, you're this, you're that. And when I post something that is from somebody that is 40 years in the practice that has, you know, some wisdom around this, I get told the same thing. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. You know, you're stupid. They're dumb. They don't know what they're talking about. You're fear mongering. Here you preach that you talk about freedom and about, you know, law of attraction, all that stuff. And my realization this morning really truly was that you can be aware of world situations. You can be aware of the things that are going on and that does not mean, and even share, bring awareness to it and the consciousness to it, the education, different viewpoints. And you can put that out there and that does not mean that you are living in a state of fear. It does not mean that you are trying to bring fear into other people's lives. What we have going on right now, however, is a bunch of fear-based living. We have everything. I mean, like just this morning, I was like, what's August going to bring us, right? Because what? We had a couple months of COVID and social distancing and then we had riots and then we had the second wave of the pandemic of COVID and now what do we have? You know, everybody's pissed off at everybody for one, one party's mad at them for wearing masks, another person's mad about people not wearing masks, wearing masks, not wearing masks, all this kind of stuff. You know, and what is coming up next? Well, next up is coin shortage. That's what I've come up to the conclusion of is the, the run on coins that how everything is really truly being depleted. It's now going to go to the stock market. It's going to go to straight up to the economy. And here we are sitting at home quarantining ourselves. Well, I'm not, but 98% of the world is sitting at home quarantining themselves 
you know, we're not even shaking hands. We're scared to be around other people. We're scared to be around family, friends. We're arguing amongst ourselves about all this kind of stuff because CNN said, because MSM said, you know, like all that kind of stuff. We're arguing about which doctor is right, which doctor isn't right. You know, what the CDC put out today because they can't make up their minds. They change their minds every other day on stuff. And at the end of it, what's happening is that there is a separation going on. We are being caught in a war. And this, this war, this third, this World War III that is going on across the world, it's here for a purpose. It's here for a reason. And I don't know fully what that is. I got my beliefs. Ultimately, my beliefs don't really fucking matter, do they? Because they're my beliefs. But I can tell you that it's here for a reason. And it has nothing to do with our health. And it has nothing to do with our well-being, and that meaning like our whole life picture. It certainly has something to do with our freedom, and it does have a lot to do with money and power. So, no matter where you stand, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. So why give a fuck, right? Why give a fuck? I mean, truly, that's my state on it. It's just like, I'm not going to give a fuck. I haven't, I wasn't given a fuck prior, I'm not going to now. I'm still going to choose to live my life. I'm going to choose to let those two right there live their lives and my other five kids. I'm, I'm going to not live in a state of shutdown, in a state of scarcity, in a state of fear, no matter who believes that by being aware, you're fear bound. I was thinking about since all of this got started back in March and even prior to that, you know, it's like, what have you done since the first of the year? And I ask you this, like, please share in the comments if you dare. What have you done since the first day of 2020 in your life? What adventures have you had? How have you lived? How have you thrived? What are you calling into your life? You know, I've been out of the country, I've been to other states, been on girls trips, been to the beach quite a few times with these guys right here, been camping, been hiking, going horseback riding next weekend, been really, really close with my family and friends, written a whole bunch, grown my client base, focused on my health, worked on a book, gotten asked to participate in a whole bunch of collaborations and planning my future, my bright future. Because here's the thing, by not giving a fuck about if you are right, wrong, what my neighbor thinks, what my daughter thinks, what my best friend, or what somebody here on social media thinks, what it allows for is it allows for you to just be you. And when we give too many, too much care to what everybody else thinks, we eliminate our freedom. We eliminate, hey babe, we eliminate our ability to truly be us. We prevent ourselves from speaking our truth because we're so caught up in trying to make everybody else happy. We're so caught up in being socially right and fitting in and fitting into the comfort of every of other people. And anybody who's ever been a game changer, a visionary, a leader, somebody who thrives in their life and moves mountains in their life, you know, really truly makes life all about the living, well, they don't give a fuck about what other people think. And they certainly do not get caught up on other people's comfort zones. Isn't it kind of silly? I mean, imagine this. I get told a lot that I'm selfish. And I am. I absolutely am selfish. I am so selfish. But here's why I'm selfish. Because I gotta take care of me. I'm responsible for my choices. I'm responsible for my emotions, my actions, my thoughts. Just like I believe that each and every person is responsible for their thoughts, their emotions, and their actions. And something that is worse than being selfish, because selfish people 
love themselves enough to know their boundaries, to know their authentic yes and their no. But there's this other title out there called self-centeredness. And you know what self-centered people do? Self-centered people, they believe that everybody else should do things to make them happy, to keep them feeling safe, to get them feeling comfortable. And when somebody does not do what they want, then they point the fingers, they name call, they shame, they guilt, they defend themselves to the nth degree, they proudly let you know, I'm not gonna be your friend anymore. You, you're this, you're that. And it's all because they want you to go their way. And it's their way or the highway, right? Silly, absolutely silly. The happy people out there, we're selfish. The people living and thriving, we're selfish. The people that are expanding and growing, evolving, we do so because we don't allow ourselves to get caught up in anybody else's comfort zones. Because we know that the only thing that matters is how we feel about our life, our actions, our feelings. So I ask you today, where are you at in this? Are you getting caught up on everybody else's emotions and taking responsibility for it? Oh my gosh, there's a jellyfish. Jellyfish. Are you getting caught up on everybody else's reactions and emotions and their thoughts? Are you trying to people please because you think that it's selfish to not people please? And how is that person who's asking you to change who you are? How are they not being selfish, if that's the word that you're choosing? Because they're actually being self-centered. They're actually wanting you to be somebody that you're not. And that's, that's not love. That's not friendship. Look into your life. Ask yourself where you're at on this topic. Ask yourself if you're living to please other people's comfort, or if you're living your life today, abundant, thriving, the way that God intended. Knowing your yes, your no, and feeling it from your deep core. And on that note, with a million fish jumping in front of me all of a sudden, my children climbing all over me, know that you're worthy. Know that you're totally worthy of abundance. And now all of this crazy shit that's going on in our world, you can buy into it, or you can choose a different path. You can rise above it. Because the universe and God does not care what us humans are throwing around down here. The universe and God's about energy. The universe and God still remain about the thoughts you think, the emotions that you're having. That's what matters. So what you attract into your life, what you find? A clamshell. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so what you attract into your life, it always remains the same, okay? You get to attract it in. Our government, our churches, your neighbors, the people telling you that you should be one way or not, that are condemning you no matter what your choices in life are, they don't get to decide what you manifest into your life. You do. Just remember that. You are the powerful one for your life. So, remember, stop existing, start living. Know that you're worthy of a beautiful life, a life full of love, a life full of abundance and all the good riches of, that you can think of. A life where you are totally enjoying every moment. Addison and I have a whole bunch of workshops. Find that on the event page. I'm not gonna get into that right here with the waves crashing on me. And of course, if you ever want to know, how did she get to think like this? Be that weird, crazy person that just lets it all hang out and not give a shit? Well, I used to not be this way. I used to give too many fucks. And yeah, I just said the F word with my kid right next to me. And now, now I understand that I don't have to. That's... I don't owe anybody anything. What I do owe 
is happiness to myself. What I do owe is responsibility to myself for my thoughts and my feelings, just as you do. I love you guys, and I will catch you tomorrow back home in the Big D for a couple days before we head off to the Ozarks for the second half of our, not really staycation, but, well, hanging out within, within 400 miles of our house. Summer vacation. Catch you then. Stop existing, start living everybody. Know your worth.